hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video so i recently hit the 1000 subscriber milestone here on youtube i put out a community post saying thank you to all of you so this is me saying thank you again to everyone who has subscribed to my channel and to all of you who has been watching my video i say a very big thank you and i really appreciate okay so in today's video i just thought to share with you some of the tips and strategies that i used in order to get my 1000 subscribers okay so number one is posting consistently i know this is a very common saying at this point but trust me that's the truth okay because one thing i've noticed on youtube is that for your channel to grow you have to upload videos consistently okay i noticed a very big difference in my channel when i started uploading a bit more consistently even though i'm still struggling a lot with being consistent but you get the point right and when i say uploading videos consistently i don't mean that you should be posting videos on youtube every single day okay if you can upload every day please do but if you cannot upload videos every day here's what you can do so for me i studied my youtube um, analytics you can find that in your youtube studio it tells you when your audience is online and help you to decide when to post okay so you just have to pick a day if you want to be uploading once a week you have to pick a day and time of upload let's say you want to be uploading every monday by 7 pm or you want to be uploading twice a week maybe mondays and fridays you also have to pick a time this will help your subscribers or your audience to know when to expect a video from you and it also helps the YouTube algorithm to push your videos to the right audience okay so number two is your title okay you need to start paying attention to your title you need to start writing titles that are clickable titles that are very catchy and titles that when your viewers see it they want to click on it okay and for my title I've been using TubeBuddy okay I use it to research on my video title topics and I also use it to do my key keyword research okay i'll leave the link to tubebody in the description box you can check it out you can use the free version or you can also use the paid version okay or you can also use this other app that is called vidiq because i believe they do the same thing okay tubebody has really helped with my keyword research and it has also helped me to come up with better titles for my video take for instance this video that i'm making now before i sat here to shoot this video i've gone on tubebody and i've done a little bit of research so that i can know the best title to give this video okay because i know that people that come across this video will most likely click on it because they are looking for ways to grow their channel or they are looking for how to get to 1000 subscribers so number three is posting on youtube shorts if you are a youtuber or you're a small youtuber like me and you've not been posting on youtube shorts what are you doing if you've not been posting on youtube shorts you need to start posting immediately after watching this video go and start creating videos that you will post on youtube shorts okay and i'm saying this because i've noticed that youtube short videos have a very high tendency of going viral it also has a very high tendency of getting more views than your long form videos okay and of course people can discover your channel through your youtube shorts okay i started posting a lot of short videos around the time i had my second baby i was posting all these postpartum contents baby related contents pregnancy contents and i can tell you for a fact that those videos got me a lot of views and a lot of subscribers okay although the views from youtube short doesn't count towards your watch hour for your monetization but it can get you subscribers and even now there is this feature on youtube shorts where you can link your long form videos so that can automatically get you more views for your long form videos okay i recommend posting youtube short videos twice daily or at least daily okay and please while at it remember to stick to a posting time or a posting schedule so number four is sharing your content or your videos on other social media platforms especially if you're active on those platforms it could be your facebook group your instagram your tiktok your insta story or even your whatsapp group okay you can even share to your family and friends so that they can help you repost these videos okay this is something my husband took upon himself okay he will always help me to share my videos and my content to his friends he will post it on his insta story and his whatsapp status okay and i really appreciate him for that also when it comes to posting your content or your videos to your whatsapp group or your facebook group i'm not saying you should just go there and start dropping the link to your channel or to your video okay especially if you've not been active on that group if you're an active member of that group you can do it in a very respectful way instead of just going there to say oh please subscribe to my channel 
no please don't do that you can just highlight something about the video maybe it's a cooking video you can highlight something about the ingredient that you used in that video or you can even just talk about the food or maybe the benefits of the food and then you drop the link to the channel and people will most likely click on it and watch your video okay all i'm saying is just do it in a respectful way so number five has to do with dropping meaningful comments or valuable comments on other youtube videos or other youtube channels okay again you have to do this in a very meaningful and respectful way okay don't just go to people's comment section and start saying oh please subscribe to my channel or check my video out don't do that okay this is what i used to do okay because i noticed that at least 80% of people on YouTube who are watching YouTube videos, they are also content creators themselves, okay? I'm always watching different videos on YouTube on how to uh, grow your channel, how to get more subscribers, how to get views, how to film, how to edit, and all of that stuff, okay? So there are some videos that I've watched and maybe I've gone back to try one or two things and it's worked for me. So I'll now go on the comment section of that video and I'll highlight what and what I did that worked for me. And I could see that sometimes I've gotten a few subscribers by doing that because most times when you drop such comments, people will like the comments and the person will now check out your channel. Okay? And I've also discovered a few channels by reading people's comments and just checking them out realizing that they're on youtube and i just subscribe to their channel okay it's just a way of engaging in other people's content just as much as you want people to engage in your content and that brings me to the last point for today which is don't quit okay because if you quit how then are you going to get the 1000 subscribers and beyond okay i don't think the goal here is to just get to 1000 subscribers and stop there you want to get to that 1000 subscribers get to 2000 3000 and just keep progressing but if you quit, that will not be possible anymore, okay? YouTube is a long-term journey from what I can see. So no matter how slow you think your journey is, just keep pushing, okay? Just keep uploading one video at a time and one day your breakthrough will definitely come. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Those are some of the things that I did to help me get to 1000 subscribers okay thank you guys for watching today's video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all in my next video bye